Hello everyone. Uh, we are in downtown Asheville. This is Wednesday afternoon after uh, my doctor's appointment. Um, this is going to be a little bit different from a normal test. I'm not going to do as many tests on this, but um, we're going to do this left turn, um, our downtown Asheville test, and our new Belgian test. I don't think we're going to do any after that for the sake of time. But this also gives us, it is five, basically 5 o'clock on Wednesday, and so that will give us a good test of higher traffic. So we are going to do our left turn test here, and um, see how it does. If you notice, since the last time, they've added red lines to this road. I, I'm not sure um, um, why they are red. I don't know if there's a specific indication for that. But yeah, they um, added that. I guess maybe it makes it nice that all the trash cans are now lined up. Let's see what we're going to do. Let's go very slow here and see how it works. Hopefully it's not going to stick its nose out in front of this car here. Oh, <laughs> seems to... I have to be very careful because it's actually probably going to be traffic this time. Oh, or not. Not at all. <laughs> okay. Um, let's try and get through this light and help speed up our test here. So with 10.4, it's supposed to have better people recognition. Um, it is definitely still a little bit hesitant with the people, but I mean, there are quite a few people on the road. Okay. It looked like it was turning into that truck there. Um, so I didn't like that. Let's go ahead and route it back here. This might be a little bit more difficult difficult for us with the higher traffic at this time of the day but that's uh, that's why I'm testing it we're trying to give a, give a good workout uh, this is, should be the hardest day yet because we have the most traffic uh, Asheville the drives I have done to get here haven't been super duper great um, it's been making a lot of wrong turns and all that type of stuff um, we're good to go I had to press it through that intersection there. And somehow we're gonna make this light as well. <laughs> you can see that guy <laughs> was, uh, got really ticked off at me um, for uh, ha having the car go towards him because it was avoiding the people on the sidewalk. Uh, you can be like, it's arms is going like, what are you doing? <laughs> that, I mean, that's an appropriate reaction to my car. Um, because my car is going far, giving far too much room for the pedestrians that are right there. So that's, uh, definitely a, um, issue. But let's see here. Let's go ahead and reroute this again. I don't, like, it, it did say it was also a narrow situation. The car was going to drive faster. And it definitely drove faster in this situation here see what it does for this again it actually stops all the way that's creeping out okay hey, this is traffic from my left again I'm pressing the tap this okay I'm pressing the accelerator to get it to get in the lane okay so very hesitant none of those cars were in my lane Whoa, what? Oh, it got navigated on the wrong road. Um, yeah, yeah, look. That's not possible. It navigated the wrong way. That's, that's what the problem was. I'm pressing the accelerator to keep it going because there was a car behind me and it ha likes to brake a lot right here. Okay, so... That obviously messed us up a little bit. Let's go again back down Carolina Lane. We're going to do this quite a handful of times, and I'm just going to speed it up in between. Let me navigate. Okay. 
Okay. The navigation is really taking me off. Like, it just decides it knows better than where I want to go. The, it has the point right there. Um, these people weren't paying attention to me at all. Um, it has the point right where I want to go. It then decides, instead of here, oh, you want to actually navigate to this road, even though your point's on this road. We're going to navigate to this road because we know better. I don't know exactly why it does that, but unfortunately, the, the dude on the skateboard is down this lane, so we're going to say hi a couple more times. <laughs> um, I guess we can also do a right turn in here, uh, but we're going to do a left turn just to kind of... It's gonna give it a best possible test here. Fortunately, here's our traffic. So I think we missed our chance at getting traffic again. Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna turn right. Not that I knew those people were coming, but. Um, Wants there to be traffic coming from the left now, which is still appropriate. Oh. Yeah, so a car did come out and it just still jut out in the traffic. Um, so I think I. Oh. Okay, so you can take a right and red right here. I had to press the accelerator just a little bit to make it a little bit more confident. And then uh, next time we're gonna do another left. I think this test is it's more. I mean, I guess I get you. You do get the same type of. Um, it needs to be able to see from the left when making a right turn. It's just not. It's critical because you're not going across two lanes of traffic. You're just going in the one lane of traffic, and you're continuing on. So it's, uh, it's you don't have to wait for cars coming from the right and from the left. So right turns are gonna be easier there, but they are still show the flaws of the B-pillar visibility. That's um, the camera placement right now is, that is an obvious um, issue uh, in situations like that. The situations are rare, R rare, rare. It's not many situations where you're gonna have a blind corner like that. I actually had one today where I, I literally could not see myself. I was like leaning way up ahead and I could not see from the right to make a left turn. And um, it just, I just had to go for it. Um, and I know my car couldn't see it all. Um, let's see if it's gonna, yeah, it's not gonna turn in here. Okay, again, we're gonna make a left turn here. Make sure it goes the way I wanna go. Exactly. I mean, you guys are seeing what's happening, right? I press it here, and it just that, and it navigates there. Look at this. I'm pressing on this road, Rankin Avenue, but it navigates in front of me. Okay, maybe it's because it wants to navigate here for some reason. Maybe if I do it this part of Rankin Road. It it won't. Navigate okay. Let's get to the navigation point. I'm not crazy here, right? Put, put, put in the comments down below if I'm doing something wrong because this is um, this doesn't make any sense to me right now. Um, okay, we're past that nav point. We want to go, say, we want to go here. What it won't, it just won't navigate to that lane. What? Okay, what about here? Not to mention, you can't get down this road. A, a car my size, and my car obviously is not big, will not fit down this. That's, that's not possible. Um. All right, one more time. There you go. I don't know what was going on. Yeah, everyone. Um, 
I don't think I was doing anything wrong. I'm just like, I guess myself I'm going crazy over here. Um, that was kind of ridiculous. Um, ooh, we might get some traffic this time. Ready to press the brake. Please creep. Okay, so it made it with that car coming. Uh, but I was hesitant. I had to press the accelerator to get it into this lane so that car could pass. It's just not very... It's not how I want it to be. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to try it one more time. And then we'll see how it works. Okay, I'm pressing the accelerator. It just... It cannot do that corner when a car's coming. And it's odd that it seems like a car comes every single time it go on this corner. Um, yeah, I just it can't do that. Okay, we're gonna uh, make one more and see what it does for this car here. It should go around it. Okay. Okay, I'm pressing accelerate, it's just being too hesitant here. It's also too far back from the... Okay. It just decided to keep on rolling through the intersection. As you can see with the new version, you got crosswalks now. It was odd that I was like rolling into the crosswalk. Um, or maybe not quite yet. But I just kept on rolling after I was pressing it. it like wants to do it. But it's just not going to. Again, one more here, and this is going to be the end of this test, everyone. Hopefully he doesn't try and go around this car. Oh, this car is... Okay, I'm going to have to go. Uh, my car. Yeah. Hey, how it um, breaks when you're pressing the accelerator and um, cruise. cruise. Okay, obviously we didn't get traffic. It, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so clearly... And we're stopping again too far back from way too far. Like, that's accurate. We're way too far back. I know this is also this stupid braking pattern is really <laughs> frustrating. There we go. Uh, it, it's odd because of the visualization is accurate. It, it's... It's totally accurate here. Uh, sorry, I just realized I just um, completely um, didn't have the large visualization note. I'll apologize everyone for that. But yeah, this is accurate. Like, look, we're still that far away from the crosswalk. So that's completely accurate. But it's like hesitating so bad to let me even creep forward. And it's just really... Uh, this turn seems a little bit better. Seems a little bit more centered. This turn is still very hesitant. And now maybe without a car here. Good. That was good. I was still uh, still hesitant, but it was good. Much better than before. Yeah, this is gonna be and I guess we just didn't get a uh, we just not didn't get lucky. Well, lucky if you will. Um, we did get lucky in that there was no traffic. 
um, but we didn't get lucky in terms of testing. We got that one case where a car was coming, or a couple cases, I guess, where the car was coming. Uh, just not, not what we want to see. Uh, next up after this video is going to be our downtown Asheville test. Uh, I'm going to have the right turn blind right there, right as that starts. So potentially we have something good to look forward to on that. Um, press the accelerator. This turn is much more hesitant than any previous version. Um, so, there's, yeah, a lot of things, 10.4 just really doesn't seem better than 10.3.1. Uh, some things are a tiny bit better, some things are a tiny bit worse. Definitely seems like a two steps forward, one step back type of deal. And again, this is the same type of deal. There is a solid white line, like a couple feet back before the uh, crosswalk. So that's about where I am. The car just seems to miss it for some reason. That, that seems to be a issue back with 10.4. It's just missing the stop, um, the crosswalk here. And once we get in here, this will be the end of our test. I don't think it's gonna turn again. Why well, anyway, it's trying to stop. Oh, I gave up. <laughs> Man, I wish that car wasn't there. Um, it might have actually done it this time. Um, so, yeah. It would, as always, just let me know if you have any questions down below, everyone. And um, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.